German clock may have struck midnight, but the nation simply declared it 420. If you know what we mean, because on Monday, the green wave took over Germany. Now this beer land has become more cannabis friendly. It has partly decriminalized marijuana use. What does this mean? Germany has legalized possession of small amounts of cannabis for recreational use. Adults are allowed to carry up to 25 grams of dried cannabis. They can cultivate up to three marijuana plants at home. And July 1 onwards, adults who don't want to grow their own plants can be allowed to join the so-called cannabis clubs. The clubs can grow and distribute the drug, but on a strictly not-for-profit basis. Each club can have up to 500 members. As for the members, they can only be part of one club. They will have to pay a membership fees, after which they will be allowed to buy 25 grams of marijuana per day or a maximum of 50 grams per month. This figure is limited to 30 grams for people under the age of 21. So there are a lot of layers here. But the German cannabis campaigners are rolling with it, and happily so. They celebrated the newly liberalized law with a smoke-in. That's what they called it. It was held at Berlin's Brandenburg Gate. People danced played music, join hands in lighting up celebratory joints and fill the air above with a cloud of smoke. One attendee's sign interestingly said, we don't want to be criminals and largely that is the sentiment. It is socially discredited, but I mean alcohol and many other things are somehow normal and commonplace and I think it's better to deal with such topics openly. If you really go into education instead of criminalization, and that's the right way to go now, I think you can definitely bring awareness to it. Because no matter what kind of consumption it is, alcohol, marijuana, and maybe other things too. And the government agrees. Berlin's shift comes amid a growing trend in Europe. Over the past 20 years, member nations are hashing out the legalization of cannabis. Malta spearheaded the shift. It also has among the bloc's most open laws. It allows adults to carry up to 7 grams. Luxembourg last year began allowing residents to cultivate cannabis for personal use. Now Germany is the third European country to join the club. But even nations that aren't legalizing the drug have been reducing penalties against it. Including making possession a civil offence, diverting offenders to treatment instead of the criminal justice system or less strict enforcement. For instance, the Netherlands may have a reputation for being relaxed on marijuana, but it is still illegal to possess or sell the drug there. Even so, the Dutch have a policy of so-called toleration, where coffee shops can sell small quantities of the drug. Question remains, why is this shift happening? According to the German government, legalization would undermine criminal trade in the drug. It would maintain quality control and guard against harmful impurities. It would free up the police so they can pursue more serious crimes. On top of this, both the government and supporters claim that it will help kill the black market. We will definitely push back the black market. Not overnight, we won't manage that. But if you look at it over a medium term period, about four or five years, I'm definitely convinced that our social clubs can help to ensure the protection of minors to provide people with clean, uncontaminated products where people are no longer criminalized for what they do. And the biggest argument of them all, millions of people are smoking marijuana anyway. So why not decriminalize it with guardrails? The cannabis policy of the last 10 years has failed. We have seen a doubling of consumption, especially among children and adolescents among young adults. Youth protection is not working. The black market is getting bigger and bigger. The number of drug-related deaths has doubled in the last 10 years. It could not go on like this. And that may be. But does it mean decriminalizing the drug is the right path? According to many, not really. Doctors, police and many experts have strongly objected to Germany's recent move. They are warning of grave real-world harm. Police unions claim demand will quickly outstrip legal supply. So criminal networks will adapt. They will quote-unquote infiltrate the social clubs. And enforcing the law then will be a quote-unquote mammoth task for the police forces. They are also pointing to traffic risks from stone drivers. Doctors have several concerns as well. Cannabis can be addictive. 
it can adversely affect mental health, the new policy makes its access much easier. And so its image will become even more normalized. And it won't be long before many underage Germans gain access to the drug. In 2021, much before the decriminalization, 10% of them already were. There's also evidence that in states where cannabis has been legalized, usage of the drug among adults has increased. Studies also say that marijuana use is likely to precede use of other licit and illicit substances. There is another argument here. Experts claim that if the main goal is to kill the black market, there is a good chance it won't be achieved. Because so far, no approach has existed to truly shut down the cannabis black market, including its legalization. So there is an array of problems here. But that doesn't matter all that much, it seems. Because nation after nation is turning a new marijuana leaf and rushing towards the green rush.